Hi and welcome to Desire RC. This video is to show you how to go through the six axis calibration process on the Desire RC built uh, and manufactured Alex Moss 32 bit board. You'll see two uh, screens in front of you. This one down here, which is just an image of the board um, and give you an idea of what we're doing. And this is the uh, graphical user interface GUI current version v2.56 b7 this is around about uh, this is early may 2016. okay there are a couple of things to consider first of all this board is actually physically is actually connected via bluetooth there is the solid blue light here and i can indicate that it's functioning by going through to the monitoring screen and moving around the uh, imu okay let's go back to the basic screen what we're going to do today is look at this section here, the IMU Calibration Helper. I'm going to click on that. It's already been set up once, so I'm going to reset it so everything is back to zero. Um, in order to actually go through a six-axis calibration process, you need to have something to put the IMU onto to make it a lot easier to actually set up. Let's move all this to one side for a second. You see here that um, I have one of the Desire RC um, IMU, the, the uh, standard IMU, not the frame, the standard frame IMU 3D printed cases. Uh, and I'm going to put in the IMU. I do this because it's a lot easier to actually make sure that the uh, IMU stays fixed in one place. Uh, and has no possibility of moving or uh, uh, being disconnected in some way. So all I've done with mine is actually fitted onto just, a, uh, actually in this case, a NASA box that had been about. It's uh, been weighted down. The first thing to consider is that you need to make sure that the IMU is actually uh, at 90 degrees. Um, to its particular position. So basically I have to make sure that this case, the IMU in here, is actually square with everything else. So it's this way and this way. To make it easier, I line it up against an edge of a table, edge of a table here to make sure it's always straight. Okay, let's go back to this section here. We've already clicked on, just to make it clear, I've clicked on this IMU helper. You'll see on the left hand side of the screen the accelerometer, on the right hand side the gyroscope. We'll deal with the accelerometer first. It is important to make sure that the IMU, this thing, is actually uh, fixed so that the Z axis, the plus Z axis, is facing up. Okay, um, now the easy way to recognize that is the top of the board. You'll see on our connect, we have the little connectors here, uh, little white connectors, the plugs. That's on the top of the board. So to have the Z axis pointing up, you have to have this on the top. Okay. What we're going to do now is calibrate this axis. We know it's the Z axis, calibrate. You see this bar down here, the blue bar that's just finished, just could go through how it's going, what's been doing, what it's been doing. And now you'll notice in the plus Z axis a blue tick. This shows that it has actually been calibrated in that axis. I'm also going to do a temperature calibration, and that shows up in the little thermometer icon. Let's go through the next one. We're not writing any of this to the board at the moment, we're just doing each individual one. So if I move the axis, you see that this is moved over here to the plus Y. Go calibrate. Calibrated temperature calibration. Okay, I stop talking now and we'll just go through each of the calibrations in turn.
Now the final one. Okay, that's all of the acceler accelerometer, all six axes now calibrated. Let's have a look at the gyroscope. I'm just going to reset that. And now, once that's all come down, calibrate. Again, you see the progress bar down here. That's been done. As far as temperature calibration on here is concerned, that's slightly different. The IMU itself, the IMU here, has to be placed in a cold location and allowed to settle for a little while to make sure it's cold. Then place it in a, um, a hot place or warmer place, and that's at the point at which you start the calibration. You can identify that within this window here. We're not going to do that on this occasion. These two boxes, accelerometer and temperature compensation, and gyroscope temperature compensation, please have a look at the, uh, the manual to identify what those do for you. But essentially, that is the end of the uh, calibration for the six axes except for one last point, which is what I normally do. Let's close this window. I now write to the board. That means that everything you've done, the settings that you've completed um, in that process have now been written to the board. We can just go back to the IMU calibration again and see what the board of the uh, six axes is set. That's about it. If you need any more help from us, go to our website, www.desirerc.com and go to the Contact Us page. Thank you for listening. Take care. Bye-bye.